Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another uh, World War II 172 scale. Uh, today we're going to look at a self-propelled artillery piece for the Germans in World War II. Like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. This said a couple names, either the cricket or the grill or the bison type. It's a short 150 millimeter howitzer. See how big the diameter that gun is. And this is the last version, like on the M, built on the 38T chassis. Famous for the Hetzer and stuff late in the war. Uh, I've done a video on the earlier one, the H, where the casemate is in the middle. They changed how they did it. And they also have the Martyr, which is the same where that has the 75 millimeter anti-tank gun where it's built on the back. Let's take a look here. This is an Italy kit. I dated it, so I did this back in uh, 2011. Just getting back into models after a long time. This has been on the shelf where I keep them, so it's got a nice layer of weathering, also known as dust. Very cool looking vehicle. Some symbols on there. That's the key for the 1st SS Panzer Division. They usually had uh, these in for uh, support, uh, heavy self-propelled guns. And the, the footage of uh, Battle of the Bulge, you can see these type vehicles, a few of them have a very brief footage in a field. And I believe studying that, they, they had uh, five of them and then they were lost either due to the battle conditions and or running out of fuel had to be abandoned so this one would need a crew in there it's very tight it's always not easy making the interiors of a gun like this with the artillery piece a lot of parts and pieces to this one this paint job was just okay you can see it's uh, just manually done Got a little weathering on there. There's that ubiquitous box. That box was made out of the metal that you had to fold. Because they... No, this was an um kit. Excuse me. This wasn't Italy. This was an um kit. Because they make a lot of uh, kits based on this chassis. So I've done that a lot. I've got several other types. Some of the late war vehicles. Some that were like a prototype. And some they only made a very few... I'll do a bigger video showing all of them together. It's got an extra track. There's where the driver would be. Some tools. So very nice. Cool looking vehicle. Be great in a diorama or use this on the war game board. And uh, this would want to uh, engage farther back because it's got very thin armor. All right. Until next time, more World War II 172 scale. Thank you for watching.